this government's been quite a leader on on climate and clean energy and, and, and uh, accelerating that transition. Um, with the expectations of, of emissions uh, target risings with LNG, and keeping in mind the really ambitious um, and admirable targets that the, that the government has set, um, how does this fit into the bigger picture in staying underneath our, our targets? Well, and it's a what's, good question. What's to come? Yeah, I mean, we, when you look at our economy, we rely on developing natural resources, whether it's uh, mining or whether it's natural gas. Uh, forestry and a lot of those activities uh, have concomitant greenhouse gases associated with them. Now as we develop those industries we want to minimize that as much as possible and there are strategies that we are employing to do that but it does mean that we need to look at other areas of our economy that are responsible for greenhouse gases and try to reduce them even more because we understand that the resource sector will produce you know a large number of greenhouse gases. So the transportation sector is an obvious place uh, to do that and, and clean energy vehicles really help uh, uh, also, the en encouraging the use of liquefied or compressed natural gas for fleet vehicles, again, will reduce the greenhouse gas emissions compared to diesel, which is what most of them are using now. Then I think we have to look at the building envelope and try to reduce greenhouse gases uh, through, through the building envelope. Uh, but I, you know, British Columbians are, I think, our real first adopters when it comes to this kind of technology. So they will embrace this kind of thing and, and show real reductions. In fact, we've seen fuel use decline in British Columbia far more than in any other province. So with these low-hanging fruits, and um, do you think we'll be able to stay underneath our, our climate reduction targets? Well, I've always said we're going to have a real challenge meeting our climate, uh, our climate action plan greenhouse gas reduction targets. Uh, I'm confident that we can, we can make real progress, uh, but we do have to look at the way we develop our resources, and we're working with the, the, the natural gas industry in particular to look at ways of, uh, of mitigating the, uh, the greenhouse gases that are associated with that production. But we also know that, and if you look at the International Energy uh, Agency, yeah. they show that the displacement of coal by natural gas actually has a net benefit for the world. Most of the reduction in greenhouse gases that we've seen in the United States over the last three years is the result of coal-fired plants being phased out by natural gas. So I do believe that natural gas is a transition fuel. It's not the end point, but I think it's one step towards a, a, a low-carbon future.